Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Lee from Bukit Matajang, uh, Penang, and right now I'm staying in Kluang, Johor. So please WhatsApp me if you are interested to buy my book. You have to do it now because uh, we don't have much time. I believe end of this month or beginning of next month, we should get the books. And I actually have extra. I have ordered more than is uh, needed. So if you need or you want to buy my book, please remember to WhatsApp me now. 019-7878-299. Just WhatsApp to me and let me know how many copies you would like. Okay? Now today I come to... Uh, the same chapter, but a different exercise, just to make sure that you know your work. Mix tenses. I mix simple present tense and simple past tense together in one exercise. And we can see whether you know or you don't know. Alright? So again, let me tell you, simple present tense, when you're meaning, when you write, or when you speak every, always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, or it is a fact. A fact like the sun rises in the east. It is a fact. Whether we are still here or not here anymore, the sun rises in the east. Okay, so we call it a fact. If we use all these words, or when our meaning is all these words. Then, I told you before, we have seven pronouns. I, you, we, they, one family. He, she, it, another family. Therefore, there are seven pronouns. I, you, we, and they, the verb, the verb is the action. Cannot put S, so it's it. But he, she, and it, the action, you must put S. So it becomes it's. Simple past tense. Simple past tense when our meaning, or when we write, or when we speak. Yesterday, last, for last year. Ago, two days ago, just now, or this morning. This morning, we take it as it has finished happening. Then we use the simple past tense. And the simple past tense, we have to remember that the verbs are divided into two categories. Okay? Regular verbs. Regular verbs like walk, W-A-L-K. The past tense is walked. Don't read walked. Okay? Or um, past tense of uh, ED, talk. Then you put talked. Don't say talked. Okay? And uh, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs is like um, come, you change to came. Run, you change to ran. Take, you change to took. And so on. Okay, so with that in your mind, please try number 1 to number 13. All these words change to the appropriate, the suitable answer. Give me the suitable answer. Of course, uh, today I will underline for you then you underline okay just now look at all these words and then you can decide your answer okay today I underline for you okay there are 13. Um, questions, maybe 10 minutes or maybe 5 minutes if you like. Okay?
Shall we try? The voice television just now. Just now is here. Okay? I, I think I stand here. Is back. You can see just now. Just now is here. Past tense. So past tense, watch becomes watched. Don't say watch it. Okay? It is a regular verb. So you just put in here. Number two, Brazil sometimes, sometimes. Brazil is he, she, or it. Brazil is he. So he sometimes put S wears. A cap. They go to India last year. Last past tense. So go becomes went. Change to the past tense. Go is an irregular verb. You drink a cup of tea every morning. When you see the word every, I, you, we, they cannot put S. So we answer number four, you, not we. So drink. It always, you can see the word always here. It, you put S. So it always bucks, put S, at strangers. Zul, yesterday, past tense. So come, you change to came. Come is an irregular word. So Zul came to my house yesterday. They usually, usually, up here. Okay? Usually and then they cannot put S. So they usually same answer. They usually swim in the river. Hasan and then last. Past tense. Last. So job, the past tense of job is double G. You put G E D. Jog. Don't say jogged is jog. They uh, Hasan jog in the park last sun, Saturday. Mr. Lin often. Often is here. Mr. Lin is he, so you must put S. Mr. Lin often takes a walk in the park. My uncle worked in Manila two years ago. Ago. Past tense. Work. Work is a regular work. So it's worked. Don't say worker. I need brushed. Her teeth this morning. This morning is past tense. Brush is a regular verb. So you put ed. Answer brushed. Okay, please don't say brush up. It's just brushed. He seldom go out. Seldom he. Seldom he. So you must put S. So he seldom go become goes. Put E S. Not S but E S. And the last one, a tiger live in the jungle. A tiger cannot live in the sea, in the desert. The tiger actually is a fact that a tiger lives in the jungle. Of course, if you catch them and put them in the zoo, then uh, you can also say in the zoo, alright? But here, a tiger, the original home of a tiger is the jungle. Therefore, a tiger, one tiger, a tiger means it, and then it is a fact. He, she, it, you must put as if it is a fact. So, a tiger lives. Tiger lives in the jungle. Don't read, don't pronounce as livers. It's just lives. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoy my lesson and you have learned something. You are more um, aware of what to put, how to use a simple present tense and simple past tense. 
when, when I mix together, you are able to differentiate. Okay? So remember simple present tense when you use every. Always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, or it is a fact. I, you, we, and they, you cannot put S to the verb. But he, she, and it, yes, you must put an S. For the past tense, these are the words that are used yesterday, last ago, just now, or this morning. And then you have regular verbs. Past tense, you put ed. Irregular verbs, you change the word. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, please remember to WhatsApp me if you are interested to buy my book. Please WhatsApp me now. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Please give me a like, share and subscribe. Thank you.